All right, everybody, it's me, RJ. I'm gonna turn this off. So today, we're gonna show you how to replace a parking brake O-ring on a hydro gear transmission. I'm gonna give you the part number for the uh, hydro drive once I get out of there. I don't have it, I have the paper. Uh, we're using a kit seal ZT-2800. Zero turn 2800 is what it probably stands for. Part number 72994, it's a genuine hydro gear parts. Uh, it comes with ring retainer seals, O-rings. I'm not sure how much of this, and I have a feeling I might need to have to later buy the whole uh, gasket kit because once I pull this off, it's probably going to mess up the gasket. So, there you go. Change pump generator seal. Okay, so here's here's what we're... This is for this seal, okay? But I have a hydro gear pump, and there is a parking brake, and if you see that little spot there, there's a bar that comes out. It might be this whole thing's bad. But right there, there's an O-ring. And it seems like it's just leaking out of that. But it leaks a lot over time. And I don't want to put anything in there. So what we're going to do is... Let me see if I'm still recording. Okay. First thing you're going to need is a 13 16 socket. Okay? Because you're going to have to remove that tire. Alright? Four bolts. Use my impact right there. Get in here, and you're like, oh, why you got all that stuff on the ground? That's because this thing leaks. So, I got it jacked up in there. I have one jack stand under, and I have another one for when I start leaning that's going to go right back here. It doesn't, like, rest up against it, but it's a second one. What you're going to need next is a 9 16 socket. And what you're going to do, see them bolts right there? That, okay? This is a skid plate that protects the hydro transmission. Okay, so you're going to remove that. I've already loosened them. And I'm going to show you what comes in handy is my handy dandy rotating socket. So I can turn the handle when it's in there tight and just do that. You can't usually do it to break it free. But once you're in there, you can just... Because see right now I'm loose. It's not wanting to go back much more. So I just go... Okay, I got that one to finger. I'll loosen it by finger now. Got that one as well. And I'm going to get both of them... Before I take it off, I'm also going to get those. See them right on the top of the black? Let me see if you can see it. Right, right there. See my finger? And I've already loosened them a little. I don't know if I can get the camera with this mount really in there. But they're right here. All you got to do is come in right here. And you can see them from above. Let me show you. There's the arm. See them? They're right there. So I'm going to come in and try how I get this reach underneath. And boom. Okay? But I'm going to have to set you back here. I'm actually going to pause you while I loosen them because you can't see anything anyway. Okay? There it is. It fell off after I took the four bolts. And forgot to tell you, this is a Ferris 48-inch FW35. That is an FW3552. They have the same hydro pump. Okay? So you get this out of here, and look at all that oil and grease built up. Stuff catches there anyway, but it's pretty nasty. So I'm going to get some paper towels. I'm going to clean that. I'm going to get my pen needle nozzle, and I'm going to blast some of that crap off here before I put it up on the table to start using cleaners and stuff, okay? We're going to pause it, and we'll be right back. There we go. We're back on. So I'm going to show you the part I'm saying. See this right here? See, that's where it's leaking. All of it's coming out of there. And if you can see, I wipe away and it comes right back. So when I do that, there is a parking brake handle right here, okay? Right there under my blower. When you flip that forward, which I'm not going to do because it's holding the vehicle in the air, or the thing in the air, but when you flip that, you can easily see, you can't on this one, but maybe you can. No, you can't. Okay, well, yeah, see, see that arm right there behind the tire? Watch. Point to it. It's right there yeah point on my middle finger see it okay watch that that's what it's attached to see it move okay so it moves all the time it's got an o-ring to hold it it's stupid it's a parking brake on the transmission it'd be better if they're on the tire like most of them do they switch to this on some years and stuff and that's what it did so because of you always adjusting the parking brake on and off here you can actually see it now i'm gonna bring it in real close see all that oil I'm going to wipe it off. 
And when I wipe it off, in just a few minutes, it's gonna be leaking again. All right, so, turn me coming that close. See it? Watch. Okay, just there it goes, it's trying. See, it's slowly dripping. And they're not in that much oil in there anymore. So we're going to pause this back up, which I know I keep saying that. But I'm going to do this, and I'm going to get to cleaning. I'm going to show you me clean it, too. I'm going to pump up the air compressor. The pressure's built up a little. You know, see what I'm doing there? All right, can you see it now? Good when my pump's on there. Okay, watch this. Okay, there's my little pen. Air pen. Sit back and slap it on some goggles. And I put my eye. All right, I didn't let it build up enough yet. I'm going to, but I'm gonna go get some goggles real quick. All right, so here's my handy dandy steel goggles. Look at them, they're still sealed up from when I bought the trimmer. So hopefully this video helps some of y'all. It's a pretty common problem finding uh well you want to see something weird the goggles are already broke but they got the i don't care i'm still gonna use them they got a protective layer on them but they're cracked as long as they keep that crap out of my eyes i don't care they're cracked you want to see how stupid i look oh yeah you probably can't see because my light flying in your face but too bad Before I can remove it too, if I'm not to show y'all how to do that. But much of this stuff off here as I can. And then we might have to lift it a little more for me to show you better. Get in here because you see I got dry feet everywhere because there's so much oil filled here. So I can't take that off until I'm done spraying though because I'll spray crap into the system. Oddly satisfied. Oh, yeah. So let's bring you guys a closer, closer look to the decay cleaning. Ready? Watch this. Is that like ASMR for you guys? Oh, yeah, that perfect cleanliness, whatever it is for. The sounds and the cleaning. Can y'all see that? Look, look. Mm, mm, mm. I need more power to get this stuff clean. I'm going to turn this uh, compressor back on in a second. I guess I'll let it power up so you guys can watch me clean this off. I don't know. Um, but if it's powered on, you ain't going to be able to hear anything. So we're going to pause. i got this video running forever. And we still got to take this thing off and pull it apart and switch the parts out. So... All right, everybody, we're back. Let me get you in here a little close, okay? I think I found my other uh, tripod, so we're gonna try that one just a bit shorter. But uh, just get in here and clean them. What are you doing? I don't need that light on. I burn my phone down. We got this light right here, see that? Can y'all not see that? Y'all can see. So, look, power. Feel it. Oh, where are my goggles? I forgot my goggles. I'm gonna get burned in my eyes. Hold on. Oh, yep, there you guys see it. See all that oil dripping now? See it? Oh, there you go. I'm probably gonna do the rest of the cleaning when I take this off. It's gonna be too big of a pain to do it. Alright, so I'm going to 
pause this. I'm going to clean up some of that dry sweep and lay under there so I don't get all messy. And see what we can do, okay? All right, guys. So, so there's a bolt right here. There. It's a half inch. If you don't have a half, a 13 can work. But I would go half if you can. Okay. And then I'm going to show you the other one. It's the same bolt. <sighs> Hook you from the mountain. Right there. All right, guys. All right. There. You see it? Okay. And it's right behind this guy, right here. And then we're gonna have to remove. Uh, this one right here as well. And I think that's going to be it. So I'm going to go see what that guy is too. Alright. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to try my little shorter tripod and see if that helps. Okay.